Hey YouTube, what's up? Uh, happy Thursday, happy pre-Friday. Um, I hope y'all had a good week. It's been a short week um, in regards to the Labor Day holiday, and I hope y'all had a really good holiday um, with your family and friends, or you know, if you just took the time out just to do you or whatever the case may be. Um, and I will apologize for um, my two and a half, I mean, I'm sorry, my three and a half week absence. Um, I've been on vacation and I've spent time with my mom and my, my granddaughter. So, um, and my granddaughter came in from the West coast. So I was more than happy, you know, to take some time off with her, but you know, then I had to go back to work and, oh man, she, she gave me the blues. She cried. She cried for almost a week. Nana, I don't want to go home. I want to stay with you. But see, she wanted to stay with me because I was giving her what she wanted. And I wasn't telling her no. And her mom is going to tell her no. So we know why she wanted to stay. But anyway, um, I came across this story uh, from another um, gentleman, uh, Trey King from No The Lead Show. Um, he's another good um, guy with a platform in regards to um, stories that, um, you know, that are in the news or in the headlines or whatever the case may be, or stuff that's local. But I'm, I'm, I'm going to um, piggyback off of what he's saying. Um, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and read the story and then I'm going to give my thoughts and my opinions as we go through the story. So um, I'm going to be reading from the computer today, believe it or not. I'm going to be reading from the computer today. Um, and I believe I left my glasses in the car, so y'all got to forgive me. So um, here we go. I'm going to read this story and I'm going to give my thoughts and opinion. Woman who made false rape claims sentenced to prison. Here we go. A 19-year-old Long Island woman who filed a bogus rape complaint against two Sacred Heart University football players was sentenced Thursday to a year behind bars and got a tongue lashing from the judge. Stop right there. So. If she made false rape charges, should she not get the same amount of time that those bo young men would have got if they were found guilty? Think about it. If they were found guilty of rape, they would have nailed them boys to the cross threw them under the jail, not throw away the key, but they would have melted the key and made it a, made another key for to put another person in jail. So I'm going to go ahead on and I'm going to finish reading this and then I'm going to still get my thoughts and opinion. Nikki Yovino first told cops in October of 2016 that the two players from the Fairfield, Connecticut College forced her to have sex in a bathroom at a booze-filled party. She later admitted that she made the charges up so her evident promiscuity wouldn't alienate a potential boyfriend. So you don't sit up there and got them and had them boys to run a train on you. But to make yourself look good and to, and to look like a victim, to so this boy could give you sympathy, you're going to claim these other two men raped you. That right there don't make no damn sense. But anyway, I'm going to dig into it a little bit more. Nikki Yovino is a 19-year-old white woman that lives in New York. The two men that she accused of raping her are two black men from a college in Connecticut. Let me say this right here. And let me put this disclaimer out there because I'm going to say some words. And I know I should have put my disclaimer out there when I first came on. Sorry that it's so late, but I'm putting this public service announcement and my disclaimer out here. I'm going to say some shit that y'all ain't going to like, that y'all y'all may find offensive. At some point, you just can't give a damn because I'm going to be on the side of right on this one. And a lot of people don't want you to be on the side of right. They want you to be on the side because of the skin color. No, no, no. If this was a black woman that had accused white men of raping and it was false, uh, key 
It was something like that that happened years ago in Pennsylvania because Bill Cosby and everybody rallied around this girl. Come find out she told a lie. you damn right she should have went to jail. Like this heifer right here. This heifer is going to jail, but she ain't going for enough time. Let me dig on into this shit some more because trust and believe there are hundreds, hundreds if not thousands of black men, Hispanic men, men of of any descent other than white that are in jail for falsely being accused of rape, murder, and most shit. You don't believe me? Go to theinnocenceproject.org and see how many men that, that have been um, exonerated from rape and murder. And a lot of them got to do with white people. I'm not a racist. I promise you I'm not. The shit is right there in black and white. It's in paper. It's in a document. It's a public document. This is something that's been going on since the beginning of the time. I mean, have y'all seen the movie? Um, God, my sister hate that movie. Uh, God have mercy. Um, the it, it's, it's Don Cheadle, Ving Rhames, Esther Rowe. Um, it's those guys in it. Rosewood. Rosewood. There we go. Rosewood. That woman lied and said, a nigga, a nigga did it. He raped me. They killed hundreds, if not thousands, of black men, children, to try to find this one black man that raped this piece of shit trash woman because trust me the woman was a hoe before she even got married she she was a hoe she was messing with everybody that worked at the damn sawmill okay you ain't got to believe me rent the movie look at the movie hell google the movie look at the storyline or look look at the story okay this woman was known to sleep with various men in that area or in that county okay and even one of the guys in the movie said, well, I mean, we all know what she do while you at work. Hell, everybody know he was just dumb enough to fall in love with her and marry her. And she married him, knowing she won't go be faithful to him. Got all them people killed and come find out it was a white man that did it all the time. Y'all know, y'all done seen Rosewood. I know y'all did. But anyway, let me continue. But during a pretrial hearing, she went back to her original version of events before finally pleading guilty in a state superior court in Bridgeport to two counts of second degree false, falsely reporting an incident and one count of interfering with, with the police. The Connecticut reported, the Connecticut Post reported, hold up, back up, stop. We're going we're gonna to go back over this paragraph one more time, and we're going to break this shit down like a fraction. I'm just going to say what I'm going to say. But during the pretrial, she went back to her original version. So she went back to say that those boys raped her. This was during the pretrial. Okay, before finally pleading guilty in a state superior court, this was before the jury came. Because I'm going to tell you right now, had the jury came and heard the, the, the series of events, Trust me, the, ju the jury would have gave her more than some damn one year in prison or jail. Call it whatever you want. However, let me break it down a little bit more so we're going to turn them fractions into decimal points. Fine decimal points. It's going to be a long line of them shits. Anything that's less from, from anything that's a year or less is a misdemeanor. Anything that's a year and a day, that is considered a felony. Like if you go to if you go to jail today, September the sixth, twenty eighteen, you get out September the seventh, twenty nineteen. You are a felon, and you can best believe a lot of times that's how they do. But what also they do is they give you a year and three months, which makes sure that your ass gonna have a felony record. They know what they're doing. Let's continue. In bridge with two counts of second degree falsifying reporting an incident. Hell no. Wrong. Eh, wrong. No. First degree falsifying reporting a rape, not a fucking incident. 
Because when y'all, when, when y'all was getting ready to convict them boys of rape, it won't no incident. It was rape. Let's be clear. Let's make this shit like crystal. Let's make it like crystal, man. I'm telling you. See, let me say this, and I'm going to say this one more time, and I'm going to keep saying it till somebody catches the fuck on. When you read these stories and you read those court transcripts on what's being said, listen to the key words that they use for certain defendants, for certain witnesses, and for certain cases. Listen to the key words. I'm telling you, they always use these key words to try to justify certain shit. Now, why are they not charging her with first degree falsifying a rape and first degree of um, um, tampering with police evidence um, and interfering with a crime? Keep going. I hope you send the, I hope you spend the time, re- this is the judge now. I just hope you spend the time reflecting on what you did. Judge William Holden told Yovino, Holden sentenced her to three years, but suspended the final two. So how the fuck is she getting punished? One of her victims both of whom left the school, read a statement in court as the defendant rolled her eyes and the paper reported. So they out here talking and she's just like, oh, what the fuck ever. If you see the video, you'll be like, oh my God, whatever. She is literally, literally rolling her eyes. Let's continue. I went from being a college student to sitting at home being expelled with no way to clear my name. Malik St. Hilar told the court as Javino started smirking. So this bitch was smirking. So in other words, in her, the way way it is with her, it's like, okay, so I got you put out of school. Okay, I don't give a shit. That ain't stopped me or my life. But guess what, boo-boo? You still didn't get the man. You got a bad name for yourself that you done set these two black guys up to go to jail, to go to prison for rape, which they didn't rape you, so that you can um, try to get close to this guy that you like. And the guy probably won't even notice in your ass. But you hoping that by you hollering this rape shit, that, that, that'll that bring him closer to you. No, that only pushed him away from you and you still sitting up there with no man. Crazy. I just hope she knows what she has done to me. My life would never be the same. I did nothing wrong, but everything has been altered because of this. Lawyer Frank Rico read a statement from the second victim who remained, who remained unidentified. The last almost two years have been definitely my most difficult of my life, this statement read. The roller coaster of emotions, fear, anger, sadness, embarrassment, depression, anxiety, and the list goes on. She accused me of what I believe to be a horrendous, horrific crime out of her own selfish concerns. Very true. Bingo. He get the thousand dollars. He get to go past gold. He get to get that two hundred dollars. Cause that statement alone, right there, would have sealed the deal. I wouldn't have gave that. I wouldn't have suspended shit. That I would have gave that bitch five years. I would have gave her ten years. However much time the judge or the jury would have gave them two black boys, that's the time I would have gave her ass. Point blank period. Sometimes you gotta make an example out of some people so the other motherfuckers can already know this ain't the game you wanna play. In the words of Trey from Know the Lad Show, you play a stupid game, you get a stupid prize. Let's continue. I lost my scholarship, my dream of continuing to play football, and now I'm in debt $30,000, and I am simply trying to get ahead as best as I can. So not only did this boy rack up an education bill, he lost his scholarship, which would have covered his bill. And you would have thought that at least who gave him that scholarship would have said, you know what? We're going to, since 
this has turned out to be this kind of event. We're going to reinstate your scholarship so you can go back to school. But we need to have this expunged from your record. We need your name cleared. But they need to go to another school. It's almost as if, damn, y'all might as well give the boys, I mean, I'm sorry, they're not boys anymore. They're young men. We might as well give these young men a whole new identity with a whole new social so that these men can sit up there and try to do something with themselves. But this crazy ass fat sow fat bitch and yeah, yep, I'm big too. So trust me, if a big person called another big person fat, that bitch is fat. Trust me. So y'all can laugh. I don't give a damn. I'm just saying. Yavino's mother, the only relative in court to back her, was kicked out of the courtroom after her cell phone went off. The Connecticut paper reported, now this bitch know you can't take no cell phone in the damn courtroom. How did she get that pass there? You know what she did? I guarantee you. I know what she did. She turned it off. But either way, there's metals inside of that thing that should have set that detector off. But anyway, I digress. But anyways, like I said, I mean, she admitted that it was all lies. But, but you did that to try to get a man that didn't even want you. I mean, you 19 years old, your, your, your life as you know it has been altered behind your own selfish bullshit. It is what it is. When people see your name, Nikki Yavino, trust me, your name is forever etched. Whenever someone type in Nikki Yavino, even 10 years from now, your name is forever associated with being a liar. Your name is forever associated with accusing two men of rape, which could have sent them to prison for the rest of their life. I don't feel no sympathy for you. I don't think a year is enough because if you spend a year, and I guarantee you, she ain't gonna do that whole damn year. I already know how the judicial system works. They're not gonna let her stay in there a whole damn year. She got that complexion connection. White privilege. Y'all think this shit is a joke? It's not a joke. People have been emboldened to come out with their racial stuff right in your face. They don't give a damn. Whether you're at your job, you're driving down the street, whether you're in the grocery store, or wherever you at, in the shopping mall, wherever you are, people are emboldened to say that, but people have also been emboldened to get their ass whipped for running their mouth. That too. But this heifer right here, I feel no sorry. I feel no shame. I feel no sorry for whatever's going to come to her because I guarantee you she's going to come across that one in jail. Oh, you the one that accused them two black boys of raping you when they ran a train on you? And you mad because you got caught? Oh no, you like somebody. So in order in order for him not to think you are a hoe, you gonna say that them boys raped you. <laughs> Let me tell y'all something. People are vicious. They are vi not everybody. Let me Bring it on in a little bit. Not everybody is out to do you harm. Not everybody is out to hurt you. But it's a shame that you have to be guarded up everywhere you go because of the simple fact you have people like her. You have people out here that do nothing but sit, lie, and wait like a lioness. Lying and wait, waiting, ready to pounce seeing what they can find out. Just like damn TMZ. Let me tell you something. TMZ ain't nothing but the damn... TMZ is so far up the Illuminati's ass that how in the world can somebody find out, TMZ find out about some shit? How TMZ be right there and don't nobody else be right there till after the fact? TMZ is always the first one on the scene. That's what I don't understand. That's why I said TMZ is part of the damn Illuminati. I'm, I'm, I'm just saying. <clears throat> I mean... 
this girl, um, and, and I didn't mean to go off on, on that part, but anyway, this girl gonna deal with this shit just like Monica Lewinsky. She ain't gonna ever live this shit down. Monica Lewinsky is always gonna be associated with the, the, the female that, that, um, to Bill Clinton underneath his desk. She blew, gave the man a blowjob. She will forever be associated with that. That woman has not lived that shit down. And I know it's been at least 20, almost 20 years or close to it. She was in a, a thing the other day, um, speaking event. And she was told by the host that anything dealing with Bill Clinton it would, would be off limits. They're not even going to talk about that. She was like, okay, fine. Interview, everything going fine. What somebody did in the audience. Asked her about Bill Clinton. What she do? She left the stage. She said, damn. When are y'all going to let this go? Whenever they pull up Monica Lewinsky, right next to her name is going to be Bill Clinton. Right next to Nikki Yavino's name is going to be those two young men. Forever. She will be forever tied to these men. Figuratively, literally, emotionally, mentally, forever tied. That's a soul tie that she ain't gonna ever fucking break. And then the crazy part about it, this heifer was nasty enough to do it in the bathroom. So you telling me if y'all at a party and y'all at a college party, you tell me somebody ain't got a bed? You gonna do it over top of the damn commode? What, one of them sitting on the commode? What kind of shit is that? Oh, damn, literally. <laughs> oh, my bad. Mm. Um, anywho, um, but no, I don't feel sorry for this heifer. I don't feel sorry for this stank. Man, I don't feel sorry for this stank sour piece of shit. I don't feel sorry for her. Nope. I ain't gonna ever feel sorry for her. She get whatever she got coming to her, whether it's next year, year after next, 10 years down the road, 20 years down the road, 30 years down the road. Nope. No bueno. No good. No good. You get no sympathy from me. You gonna, your name will forever be associated with these two men. Forever. You can get married and change your name. But Joe Yavino will forever be tied to that. And them boys going to be tied to you. Well, you'll be tied to that, but them boys going to break from you. This right here that's being out in public, them boys going to break from you. Them boys going to go on and do great things. I'm sorry, y'all. I keep messing with that. But um, those boys going to go on and do great things. I mean... I can imagine what they had to go through. I'm, I can imagine, you know, it's like embarrassing. Like, dang, I don't, you know, I mess with that. And I'm going to tell you what, what that's going to do. They're not going to deal with nobody else that look like her. <laughs> Trust and believe that. They are not going to deal with anybody else that looks like her. If they do, I'll be shocked, but trust me. I'm going to tell you right now, you know what they're thinking? I don't trust no white woman. She's a liar. She ruined my life. She ruined my career. She did all. I don't trust no white woman. Trust me, he ain't. And I'm going to tell you right now, it's going to be a lot of them that's going to try. He's like, nope. Nah, we good. You don't want to talk to me? Nope. And you better not tell nobody I raped you because I don't want to talk to you. Hey. Y'all watch her. I, I'm not trying to talk to her. I don't want to go on a date with her. I don't want her to say I raped her. So y'all know this, right? That's going to be embarrassing. going to get our ass up out of there. They'll be like, no, nah, get your ass up out of here. You ain't going to come over here and set nobody up over here. Get your ass up out of here. Nope. But anyway, that's all I got. Y'all have a good evening, and um, y'all enjoy the rest of y'all day. Peace.